Okay, so an important concept in the study of numerical methods is this idea of stability. Um, so let's say a little bit about this. So stability of numerical methods. Okay, so let's say you have a, a linear uh, system of ODEs, right? So for a linear system, ODEs, uh, say dy dt is A of y, where A is a n by n matrix. Uh, and let's just assume for now it has a complete basis of eigenvectors. All right. So in general, if it didn't have a complete basis eigenvectors, uh, you can also use what is known as the Jordan canonical form. It's like to arrive at a similar conclusion to, to what we're talking about. Um, but from a pedagogical perspective, it's a little bit easier if we just assume it has a complete basis eigenvectors. Okay, so if so, uh, then the general solution has the form y of t is equal to some formal linear combination, i equals 1 to n of ci e to the lambda i t, because uh, ci, where the lambda i's are the eigenvalues, and the ci are the eigenvectors. Okay, uh, then in, in essence then the stability, it's like of the solution are determined uh, by just the eigenvalues, right? So, so the stability of the solution is determined by the eigenvalues. Of the I, so for example, If all the eigenvalues are in the uh, sort of have negative uh, real part, which basically means it's in the left half of the complex plane, right? So if they have negative real part or they're in the left half of the complex plane, uh, then what that basically means is that the solutions will um, approach the uh, origin asymptotically, right? So then the origin is asymptotically stable. Okay. And then, uh, so, um, and in particular, if the eigenvalues are in the left half plane, then the origin uh, is Lyapunov stable. Okay, so let's uh, consider what happens when you try to apply a numerical method. It's like to a linear system of ODs like the one which we have here and to see the extent to which um, the numerical method um, respects it's like this kind of asymptotic property of the uh, exact solution. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to leave the differential equation up for now. So let's consider sort of applying the 
والله ما فد to this equation you have here all right so you get uh, yn plus one is equal to yn plus h times the matrix a applied to yn so you can write this as the identity plus h a uh, acting on yn and then you can expand this in an eigen basis expand yn in an eigen basis Right, so y n is equal to the sum uh, from i equals one to n of uh, alpha i n c i. Uh, so what happens then is that y n plus one is equal to the sum from i equals one to n of uh, alpha i n c i. Right, um, well, I should write it this way uh, alpha uh, ni identity plus h a acting on ci. All right, um, but now it's like I have a matrix a acting, it's like on a eigenvector, so I can write uh, this in terms of the eigenvalues. So this equals sum from i equals 1 to n of alpha i n. Uh, 1 plus h lambda i ci, All right? And again, you can write n plus 1. It's like in terms of the eigenbases, okay? So you can write this as uh, alpha i n plus 1 ci sum from i equals 1 to n. All right, and then you can compare uh, the coefficients. It's like for each of these eigenvectors to get that alpha i n plus one is equal to alpha i n one plus h lambda i. Okay, so uh, then basically you can conclude that the origin is stable. Right, if uh, the modulus of 1 plus h lambda i is strictly less, uh, less than or equal to 1, and it's asymptotically stable. If uh, the modulus of 1 plus h lambda i is strictly less than 1. OK, all right. So that tells you something then about uh, the stability properties, it's like of uh, your uh, Euler method when you apply it to um, this linear system of um, differential equations. So let's uh, look at that um, more carefully now. Okay, so this is the idea of the stability region. Stability region right, of Euler's method. So you want to look at. Um, so it's it's very common. It's like to express it's like stability regions uh, in terms of the product of h by lambda. Okay, and uh, so let's look at it this way. Okay. So the stability condition is that, um, all right. So if you recall, it's like the condition was that uh, the modulus of one plus h lambda i is less than equal to one, all right? For stability and then for asymptotic stability, then you have a strict inequality. Okay, so, um, all right. So let's draw a picture for this, okay? So this is the, real part of z, the imaginary part of z, and then you should think of z as being h times lambda, okay? So this is more or less saying that you want to look at 1 plus z to be less than or equal to 1 in modulus, all right? 
So if you think of a point Z, it's like in the complex plane satisfying that inequality, uh, then it's clear that you have a circle which is centered about minus one uh, with radius one. Okay, um, so anything it's like inside that stability region uh, is, uh, you know, it's like what happens is that if you have h times lambda, which is equal to z, contained inside this unit circle uh, centered about minus one, um, then the Euler method will be such that the, um, the origin will be um, stable, right? And if you are strictly contained, it's like uh, within that unit circle, uh, then um, without uh, including the boundary, uh, then the origin will be asymptotically stable. So this tells you again something about the, what is called the stability region of the Euler method. Okay. Okay. So so let's say a little bit about what are called stability functions. So when you apply sort of uh, Euler's method to y prime is equal to lambda y, right? You get <coughs> that <coughs> basically yn plus 1 is some polynomial <coughs> of uh, h lambda applied to yn, okay, where this polynomial p of c is equal to 1 plus c, okay? <coughs> so, so many methods, including all uh, explicit Runge-Kutta methods, so many methods... of including all explicit RK methods right have the form y n plus one is equal to P Z Y N for some polynomial Easy, okay, when applied uh, to a differential equation, y prime is equal to lambda y. Okay. So more generally, it's like as we'll see in a little bit, it's like uh, you know that uh, application factor or stability function is is not a polynomial, but it's going to be a rational function, right? So more generally. All Runge-Kutta methods when applied to y prime is equal to lambda y, right? Can be written as uh, y n plus one is some r of z, right? Y n, where uh, R of Z is a rational function. And Z is uh, equal to H lambda, okay? And then R is uh, referred to as the stability function. RK method. Okay, so let's stop here for a bit.